Hi, my name is Jeremiah. I'm the Facility Operations Manager here at Paws Dog Daycare. And hi, I'm Richard, the founder of Paws Dog Daycare. We're here too. We're here to talk about finding a location for your dog daycare. Uh, as the Facility Operations Manager, uh, I run the day-to-day -day operations, uh, so I would have to throw this over and direct it more towards you, Richard, because you actually found the specific location that we are in, and let's talk a little more about the process that you went through in order to find the perfect location to place your dog daycare. Um, I know some people do hire commercial real estate agents, um, and you also have to take into, effect, uh, into, into account of the traffic, the demographics in your area. How many people actually have dogs that are going to drive by you every day? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's uh, the common moniker uh, is location, location, location. Uh, that's going to generally determine how profitable you are, uh, the cost. I mean, your overhead expenses based on you know your rent and things like that. I mean, it's all going to be about location. And the most important thing when it comes to Finding a, a correct location is, is not sending letters out to businesses asking if they want a dog daycare there, uh, not polling the public. Uh, the most important thing is going to be, A, I mean, the, the zoning in your area. I mean, if you find the perfect location that has 60,000 cars going across the front of it like our business does and, and all this kind of good stuff, but your business is not allowed to be there based on the zoning laws in your area, then you're not going to open your business there. Um, Nobody controls whether or not you'll be able to put your business in a certain location except for the zoning officials of your local municipality. And unfortunately, dog daycare is still, I mean, even at this stage, a relatively new new concept, and a lot of, of zoning officials and, and such are, are not really familiar with what you do. They consider it to be day boarding. Uh, as such, they, they will a lot of times try to push you into the outskirts of town uh, because they equate you to a, to a dog kennel. And like the old style dog kennels with dogs barking and chain link and all this kind of good stuff, which is not what our modern business is about. I mean, our modern business is mostly inside, it's dog play, and your, your commercial neighbors generally have no problems and then more likely won't be able to hear uh, or be bothered by the dogs if you build out your facility, right? So, uh, as far as a commercial real estate agent goes, what can you look to pay uh, and uh, are there any disadvantages or, or advantages that could really pop out uh, so in, that you could get that you could tell people? In most cases, in, uh, and this has been in my experience, if you if you go the route of, of finding a commercial real estate agent to help you find a location, uh, I mean it's it's not the the most wise decision because that is valuable a valuable skill that you need to learn how to do. Uh, additionally, the fees. Uh, most commercial real estate agents will charge you one month's rent as a commission for finding you a location. Uh, now granted they may help you in negotiating the lease terms and things like that, which is, which is doubtful, which is probably beyond their job scope. Uh, they may be able to give some advice on it, but it's, it's wasted money. I mean, you can go to your local municipality's website, look at the zoning overlay, and find out where your business is allowed to be first. And then you can go to, say, loopnet.com uh, and see what spaces or what commercial spaces are for lease within those areas that you selected. And you've essentially done the exact same thing that the realtor is going to do, and you've saved yourself anywhere from 1000 to $10,000, depending upon what your, your monthly lease rate is going to be. You, also, if you're purchasing a building, uh, they're going to have some closing costs as well, oh, uh, yes. and they're going to take a, a high commission on that if you're purchasing a building. Um, and uh, so, so you should be picking out a location and, and learning your zoning laws pretty early on in your in your business startup. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's the. I mean, you again. You, you you first have to know where you can put the business, and from there you have to find out what businesses are available. Right. And then you have to balance that against the demographics of your area. What's the traffic flow? What's the commuter routes? Uh, are you out in the middle of nowhere and nobody's going to see you? Or are you in the center of town where every, everybody's going to see you? Right. Well, this is a lot of information and there's a ton more on our website at www.pawsdogdaycare.com. Down in the left hand corner you'll see an image that says how to start your own dog daycare. Just click on that. There's a ton more information uh, available to you for purchase, and a lot of it's actually very free, and you can look at it right on the web.